Today, I'm going to show you how to create topical maps for free so that you can do all the keyword research for your website in a way that's a bit more scientific and data driven. And it's very clean, very easy to do. You pretty much can't go wrong. I'm going to show you exactly how it works step by step. Plus, I'm going to show you how to automate it using chat GPT and AI. Now, we have previously used keyword clustering tools like this, for example, with SE Ranking and Claude 2, which was good, but it was a little bit messy, especially if you're doing it for like 10 websites. You might have seen that I'm actually focusing on a challenge right now to build out 100 websites with AI and SEO. Um, that's a lot of keyword research. And so I want to make it as clean and as easy to follow as possible. And it's actually a process based on Matt Diggity's method of basically figuring out the best topical maps. Definitely check out this video if you can. But basically, I'm going to walk you through it step by step and exactly how I do it. Plus, I've kind of automated the system to make it faster and easier. So here's the process. And the whole idea of this is that you build out a topical map. So you're not trying to just focus on the low keyword stuff because you want to show your authority to Google and basically cover all the biggest topics that an authority site would and not just go after the low hanging fruit. So it's a bit of a different approach, but it makes sense, right? If you want to be seen as the authority, you might as well cover every single topic that an authoritative site would have. So how do you do that? So basically it's going to work in two steps. I'm going to give you my SOP and everything like that. Plus I'm going to show you a special way to automate it for free. You don't need to pay for API tokens or anything. And everything that I'm showing you today is free. And this is the smartest way I've seen to do it. So let's just get straight into it. So essentially what we've got here is 10 websites. I've already done the topical map for this French website right here. And we're going to build out a few more today for these other sites before I can start creating the content. And this has helped me find 781 keywords for free without cannibalization, without anything irrelevant and also prioritize in terms of semantic relevance using AI. And I'll give you the whole system for doing this. So what we're going to do is take the next website like so, Uccello Mondo, which is an Italian site we're building out in the birds niche. And the first thing we want to do is find semantically relevant topics, right? So we're going to grab this prompt right here from SOP. We'll go on to chat GPT 3.5, niche is birds, the language is Italian. And basically what we're going to ask chat GPT to do here is give me 30 semantically relevant but unique topics under the niche in the right language and easy to read tape. Then we're going to ask it to reduce each word length to three to five keywords because otherwise it will create something too niche. We'll prioritize the list by semantic relevance because in the eyes of Google, semantics are everything and the way that it's going to crawl your website as a machine is basically figure out, okay, how are these topics all semantically relevant to each other? This also means that we remove anything irrelevant and we also avoid keyword cannibalization because we're coming up with lots of different unique topics. And then because we're doing this in Italian, and this works for English as well, but we're going to ask for the keywords plus an English translation. So we'll hit enter like that and see what it comes up with. Now we have the list of Italian topics that we can use to create content for our website. So I'm going to plug these in here. And then we also want to number the list like so. Let's tidy up this spreadsheet. Nobody likes a messy spreadsheet. We'll delete the rest of the columns because they're a distraction. Now we have the number, the Italian keywords, and the English translation for each. And this gives us a base of topics that we can write about. And the good thing about testing this in the video is uh, if the prompts need improving, we can do that along the way. What we're going to do next is basically build out a topical map for each of the topics ChatGPT has suggested. To explain that in English, these are all topics that we can find several keywords underneath, right? So we can find 30 keywords related to the migration of birds or 30 keywords related to the bird diet, etc. So what we're going to do here is paste the table rows like so. So we've got the number, the topic, the Italian keywords and the English translation. Now from here, what we're going to do is build out a topical map based on all of these topics. Doesn't take long. So how does that work? Well, this is where part two of the SOP comes in. So from here, what we're going to do is grab each of the topics chat GPT has already suggested in this list right here. And we're going to get variations of those topics that match a different search intent so that they're not cannibalizing each other. So for example, can birds eat bananas and can a bird eat bananas? Basically the same thing, right? So we want to focus on a different search intent instead. 
We're going to include keywords in the English translation for each of those topics. We're going to put it in a column. We'll reduce the length of each topic to three to five keywords. So it's not too long and it's not too niche, etc. Otherwise, there won't be enough search volume. And that's pretty much it. Now, what I've also done to make this process faster, because obviously we've got to go through like 30 of them, is I've actually plugged it into this tool called Text Expander, right? So every time I type TPM, it's going to give me this prompt, which I can quickly customize with the topic from our list. So as I'm going through the list of 30 topics, I can quickly use the Text Expander to instruct ChatGPT, and it only takes me a few seconds. This is the other reason that we're using ChatGPT 3.5, because ChatGPT 3.5 is very, very fast to complete for us. So if we want to get a list of 800 or 900 keywords in a very fast amount of time, we can do it using this process. Now, you've probably got a couple of FAQs at this point, right? You might be saying, how do you know there's enough search volume for each of these keywords? And how do you know these aren't too competitive to rank for? So first of all, all of the keywords that we're doing for this project are ordered in terms of semantic relevance. So ChatGPT understands semantics better than a human would. It's a large language model, which means that it can easily figure out what are the most relevant terms semantically that you would expect on a website that's trying to be an authority on the topic and that don't have a match in search intent. So that's in some ways, that's more useful than a keyword research tool. Additionally, this means that we don't need to filter out manually ourselves afterwards. We don't need to run it through Claude 2 or any other keyword clustering tools. Everything is already clustered neatly like so. And additionally, it doesn't really matter about keyword difficulty because if we publish so much content at once, the whole authority of the site is so high that eventually we can rank for competitive terms if there's some on this list. Additionally, because this is a French market or foreign markets, which is the whole strategy of this project for 100 websites, it won't be too competitive for most of these keywords anyway. I know that straight off the bat. And with that, let's get straight into building out this topical map. And I'm going to give you the whole system in case you want to replicate it like me. I'll show you how fast it is to generate for one website. And essentially, we're going to have the list of main topics here. We'll have ChatGPT 3.5 in the middle. And then we'll have our topical map built out and clustered over here. Basically, it's all set up for optimization. And that means it's going to be nice and neatly organized in our spreadsheet over here. So we'll start the stopwatch, see how long this takes. Let's grab the first one like so. We'll type in the text expander, put the topic underneath. I've tweaked the prompt a little bit just after a bit of testing here, just to make it easier and faster for you to use. And now we have the cluster topic, the number, Italian, keyword, and also what that means in English. And with this workflow that we've got, we can easily just paste it into the table like that and then keep moving down. So we've done the first one, let's bold it. Let's move on to the next one. And it should take about, I would say anywhere between maybe one minute to 30 seconds to generate each batch of keywords. But at least it's nice and neatly organized. Plus there's no overlap in search intent, which is really good. Just saves so much time on the filtering, especially if you've got 10 or 100 different websites to do this for. It's the most scalable way I've seen to do it. And it's just a very logical topical map. The other thing I like about this is you don't really miss anything off, right? So because the large language model has decided the main clusters for you, you don't need to figure that out. And you don't need to get creative with this. It's basically just a system that you can rinse and repeat over and over and over again for every website that you set up. Plus, by storing it in a spreadsheet, you can go back and see which keywords you've missed if you need to create more content. And you can see how all of these topics would interlink together. So, for example, these plumage keywords that we're going after, they all interlink together, all very relevant. And if you're wondering, okay, but do people actually search for this? If you actually type in the main cluster, you can see it appear on Google like so. So if it comes up in the autocomplete, you know people are searching for it. But you also know for a keyword like that, most websites are not going to be creating content around it, which makes it very easy and low competition to rank for. So now we have generated 180 keywords, it took us three minutes, but we've also saved ourselves a lot of time in the future from filtering and clustering and removing anything relevant or you know, creating content about the wrong stuff, etc. So it's a very powerful and easy process to use. Uh, this works for any niche, any topic, any website that you're setting up pretty much. Plus when we paste these keywords into autoblogging AI to generate the content, Based on the keyword autoblogging AI, blogging can actually come up with a title. So we don't need to think about that. 
also, if you're doing this for multiple websites, you wouldn't want to do this yourself every time, right? So ideally you would get a virtual assistant to do this for you, especially if it's only going to take like, say 10 minutes per topical map. No point doing it yourself every time. Now, another little thing that I want to say here whilst we're waiting for that to generate, it's getting stuck there. Come on, chat GPT, you're slowing me down here. So I've set up the text expander as TPM. So when I type that in, the prompt shows up like so. The reason I've done that is because if I'm going to do this 30 times for multiple websites, then I want it to be as fast as possible to get that text expander in there. It's the same reason why I have the topic at the bottom, because then I can just quickly paste in the main topic. And all of this is designed to save time. And the more keystrokes you can reduce, the more time you're going to save and the less burned out you're going to be from doing it. We're almost halfway through now. You can see that I'm boldening each topic as I go through them, just so I know where to continue from. Would recommend just to save your brain a little bit of confusion there. And the great thing about this whole workflow is it's free. You don't have to pay for a tool. You don't have to pay for ChatGPT4 if you don't want to. You can rinse and repeat this for any website. It is probably the most efficient way to generate top maps at scale, unless you want to use an API, which I'll come on to in a minute. Now, you might also be wondering for these particular keywords, not just the main topic, but these keywords are people typing them into Google. So even if you go into the English Google, you can see that different variations of the keyword are showing up on Google, which is a good sign. So just by checking the autocomplete, you can decide whether people are actually searching for it or not, but ChatGPT figures it out for you. Now, this looks like a really good cluster for Amazon affiliate keywords. And the good thing is about these foreign languages is that you can sign up to Amazon Italy or Amazon Germany or wherever you want to be and make money with affiliate keywords that are way less competitive than the English versions. Now we've generated 572 semantically relevant keywords in nine minutes in total. So that was pretty easy. And then I'll just finish off the rest. One thing I would recommend if you're following along with this tutorial, if you're on a Mac, if you press option command and then the arrow, you can quickly switch between the tabs really fast, which is just going to save you a bit of time there as well. Make everything faster, which is what we want. We want that productivity gains. And for all of these systems, you know, this whole template spreadsheet and all the prompts in the SOP, I'm going to give them away for free in my free course. So feel free to get that link is in the comments as always. There we go. We have our topical map nicely ordered and clustered without any overlapping search intent. We've got 904 keywords inside the topical map. It's all laid out neatly. And what we can do next is start plugging these into autoblogging AI. I will cover that in a future video so that you can learn how to do it step by step and how to set up your website with all the plugins, etc., to do it. But yeah, really easy and powerful process. Now let's talk about automation. So I actually have a full tutorial on how to generate content at bulk and scale for free using Google's Palm 2 API. Now this is a free API, integrates with Google Sheets. You can sign up for free at makersuite.com and then you can generate API keys for free. Now normally with ChatGPT, you would pay for that key. With Palm 2, it's completely free. If you haven't seen this video already, I would highly recommend it. But basically what you can do from here is if we go to the automation tab on this spreadsheet is we can take the site, we can put in the language, the niche, and then we can set up a prompt like this, for example, generating 30 semantically relevant, but unique topics and Palm 2 using our API key, which is plugged in right here. Obviously you have to use your own in this app script, basically generates the topics for us. So we don't even need to go into chat GPT and do that ourselves. It's already there, ready to go. And you can see it's in the right language. It's all relevant. Every single topic on there is relevant to our niche of birds. And we've got the translations on the right too. So using Palm 2, you can extract the topical map and then you can get the individual topics for each one. I haven't mastered it yet, honestly. I think it's a prompt you need to spend a bit of time on, but I can see the potential there if you wanted to use Palm 2 to basically generate 30 topics and then go for each number on the list. For example, like bird nesting, you could extract 30 relevant topics to bird nesting using Palm 2 and this spreadsheet right here. So I'm going to give you the template if you want to try that. Otherwise, it only takes 15 minutes to generate a topical map for each site anyway. So it depends how many you're doing. And that is basically how the whole process works. 
So thanks so much for watching. If you want access to all the prompts and systems and SOPs I've talked about today, you can get it in my free course. Link is in the comments. If you want to book in a call where we can talk about how to get you more leads, traffic and sales to your website using link building and basically give you a plan to increase your rankings to get more traffic from SEO, feel free to book that in. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.